Good evening. Welcome to our senior awards night. Happy to see all of you out there. Um, it's a fun night to be able to recognize uh, athletic and academic achievements here at Clinton Central. And I told the students I was going to do something a little bit different because I know I've sat through, it seems like hundreds of these things. And if you're out in the crowd, sometimes you don't know who the students are or you don't know why they're up here or what, where they're going to college or anything like that. So I'm going to have each student int introduce themselves and just give their name, what their future plans are. And I've warned a couple of them, Kale. <laughs> to stick to the script. So, Kale, we're going to start with you. Tell us who you are and what your future plans are. All right, so I'm Kale Lucas. Um, when I graduate this year, I plan on attending Purdue University to study organizational leadership in their polytechnic school. Um, and afterwards, I plan to pursue a career in business. I'm Trip McQuinn. I plan to do a trade school down in Indianapolis for heating and cooling. My name is Brendan Smith, and I plan on getting a biology degree to become an oral surgeon. Uh, my name is Mitchell Farrell. I plan on going to Purdue to study engineering. My name is Caleb Price. I plan on going to Purdue for business. I'm Tristan Hoffman, and I attend Southeastern Lyman College in Georgia. I'm Eli Archibald, and I plan on attending Vincent University to get a degree in law enforcement. I'm Jacob Hostetter, plan on attending Purdue University. <laughs> I'm Thomas Vera. I'll be attending IU Bloomington next year, uh, pursuing a degree in business. Woo! I'm Jacob Hobbaker. I plan to attend Purdue University and study landscape architecture. I am Katie Faulkner. I will be attending Purdue University of Fort Wayne and I'll be studying music therapy. I'm Garrett Ray and I'm going to Purdue Fort Wayne to eventually become a lawyer. Hello, I'm Corey Newman. I am going to Colorado University Boulder to study environmental design. Ooh. <laughs> My name is Carla Dick and I will be attending Ryan right Cook Home for a studying business. I'm Kaylin Baylor and I'll be going to Indiana State for psychology. My name is Gabby Rothwell and I plan on attending Indiana State for nursing. My name is Ava French and I'll be going to Purdue University to study biomedical engineering. I'm Edward Kelly and I will be attending Ball State to study actuarial science. I'm Kylie Carr and I plan on attending Ivy Tech Anderson to study dental hygiene. I'm Rihanna Davis and I plan on going to Ivy Tech for my general studies. I'm Hannah Jacoby and I plan on going to Vincent's for interior design. I'm Mariah Eaton, I'm going to IUK to study journalism. I'm Gage Eli and I'm going into the workforce. Woo! I'm Aiden Barrett, I'm going to Ivy Tech to study ag business. I'm Haley Thompson, I'm going to Indiana University to study entrepreneurship. I'm Alexa Flashberg, I'm going to Indiana University to study exercise and sports science. Oh, yeah, go ahead and give them a round of applause. So I just think it's kind of neat that we all know what their future plans are. It's the first time I've heard some of them, and you know, there's some pretty lofty goals here, and, and it's, it's awesome. We've got lawyers, we've got aerospace engineers, we've got guys going to just the workforce, and uh, all kinds of different things in there. So we do wish them the best. Okay, the first thing that uh, we'll do tonight is uh, I'll pass out our valedictorian and salutatorian medals. Our uh, valedictorian this year is Mitchell Farrell. And our salutatorian this year is Miss Ava French. <laughs> the 
Okay, now we will go now through um, a lot of different scholarships uh, that we have. And you notice we have a lot of presenters up here. We thank all of you for being here, for giving up a little bit of time to come and uh, award our students these scholarships. It looks like the first one is the Ivy Tech Valedictorian Award. So come on up, Rachel. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rachel Hitsey. I'm the College Connection Coach here at Clinton Central. Thank you for allowing me to participate in your award ceremony. I am, on here, I am here on behalf of Ivy Tech Community College Lafayette to present the Valedictorian Scholarship. Um, but to start off, I would really like to take a moment to congratulate this class. I've been working with them for the last two years, and it's been really amazing getting to know all of you. So I think we should give them a round of applause for all their hard work. <laughs> and we look forward to seeing what you do after high school, your many successes to come. So tonight, I have the honor of presenting the Valedictorian Scholarship. This scholarship covers tuition for 15 credit hours or five classes at Ivy Tech and is valid for two years. This scholarship is not limited to the Lafayette campus and can be redeemed at any one of the 32 campuses statewide. This student can utilize the scholarship during the summer, either this summer coming up or you know, when you get back from Purdue during the summer. So if you don't want to, if you want a little break from your campus to come to a different one. So I'm happy to award this presidential valedictorian scholarship to Mitchell Farrell. So I don't have to, you guys all have programs at home? So, so I don't have to get up and announce every time, but if, it, if it's your turn, just come on up, okay? All right, so Joe, come on up. Good evening, I'm Joe Rule with Co-Alliance, and graduates, congratulations, well, job well done. Co-Alliance is a farmer-owned local cooperative serving growers in Clinton County and surrounding counties. As such, Coal Alliance is committed to a strong future in the agriculture industry. And for that reason, we offer more than 20 scholarships every year to the children and grandchildren of our members who plan to study in this field. They're sure we have an exceptionally strong application group which demands receipts and must exemplify the Coal Alliance mission to lead, grow, give, and remember. Today, on behalf of Coal Alliance, I'm presenting an award to a young man who plans to continue his education in landscape architecture at Purdue University. This individual has been extremely involved in extracurricular activities such as 4-H, FFA, and athletics, while maintaining an extremely impressive GPA. But what stands out most to Cole Alliance is his understanding and passion for the many facets of agriculture. Cole Alliance anticipates that he has a very bright future ahead. On behalf of the farmers who own Cole Alliance, Partnership, I'm proud to present this award for $1,000 to Jacob Hallbecker. I'm Matt Lambert from Encompass Credit Union. tall, I guess. The uh, Walter York Memorial Scholarship was established to honor the man who founded what is now known as Encompass Credit Union out of his desk drawer at the Steel Parts Factory in Tipton. Walter was the manager and treasurer for 33 years and spent a considerable amount of time giving back to the community. Encompass gives a scholarship to graduating seniors from each of the high schools in all the counties that we uh, service uh, with branches or, or with our charter. Uh, and tonight I'm going to be pleased to present this $1,000 award to Caleb Price. Good evening, I'm Kelsey Quinn. I'm the new program assistant at the Clinton County Extension Office. Um, so I get to present the 2018 Clinton County 4-H Advisory Council Livestock Scholarship in the amount of $500. And this goes to Corey Neiman. And Mitchell Farrell.
Good evening, my name is Stephanie Tinkle. I'm from IU Kokomo Office of Admissions. On behalf of all of IU Kokomo, I am honored to present tonight's scholarship recipients. The first recipient is receiving the STAR Scholarship worth $1,500 renewable for three additional years, and that goes to Kyler Gick. worth $2,500 renewable for three additional years, and that award goes to Brendan Smith. My name is Jim Gookin, representing the uh, Frankfurt Marine Corps League, and I have a $500 scholarship. Uh, our Marine Corps League is made up of uh, people who have served in the Marine Corps and Navy Corpsman. Our detachment uh, does fundraising and performs community service. The uh, Marine Corps League provides an opportunity for fellowship and also uh, to preserve the Marine Corps traditions. The uh, Marine Corps League scholarship is awarded to uh, Gabrielle Rothwell. Of the Athletic Booster Club. Uh, I'm going to recognize the following seniors along with our uh, Athletic Booster Club president, Mr. Randy Weaver. Uh, it is for seniors for their outstanding achievement in the classroom as well as in their respective athletic areas of interest. Uh, Mr. Randy Weaver here will, will uh, present these scholarships to our following student athletes. Good evening. The uh, Adult Booster Club gives out uh, generally four scholarships every year. This year we only had to apply, so the uh, choices were pretty simple and easy for us. So this year, um, our first scholarship goes to Corey Neiman. And our second scholarship goes to Brendan Smith. representing the Purdue Club of Clinton County initially, and then the Community Foundation of Clinton County. The Purdue Club of Clinton County was established in 1977 by a local group of people to promote Purdue University through activities and scholarships. Our organization started by giving a $100 scholarship to a graduating senior from each of the four county high schools. This amount has grown over the years to 250, 500, 750, and $1,000, again, to a graduating student from each of the four schools. In addition, over the past 21 years, our club has given a second scholarship in the amount of $500 to each of the four schools. To date, through last year, Purdue Club of Clinton County has awarded $166,000 in scholarships to the four county schools, again, for students going to Purdue. Those graduates of the class of 2018 from Clinton Central, the Purdue Club is awarding two $1,000 scholarships at this time. Those recipients are Mitchell Farrell and Jacob Habegger. In addition, one of our former club uh, leaders, Bob Kopstick, a farmer in Southeast Glen County, passed away. His daughters wanted to initiate a, a Bob Kopstick Memorial Ag Scholarship in his memory. And we are fortunate to have that continue for a number of years now. That scholarship is going to Caleb Price. At 
At this time, I'll be awarding a number of scholarships through the Clinton County Community Foundation. The first is the Clarence Cochran Agricultural Scholarship. This is in recognition of a student of good character, good citizenship, good scholastic record, and healthy lifestyle. The Clarence Cochran Ag Scholarship Fund is a fund through the Clinton County Community Foundation, for which I serve on that board and scholarship committee. This year, we are recognizing Jacob Habegger. Next is the Robert Brinson Scholarship. Established by Mr. Brinson, this scholarship provides educational scholarships to deserving students graduating from Clinton Central High School or accepted into a program leading to a bachelor's degree at Purdue. This year, there are multiple recipients. Mr. Brinson wanted to award more than one scholarship. Those recipients are Mitchell Farrell, Jacob Habegger, Kayla Lucas, and Caleb Price. The Vincent Lois Dowden Scholarship provides scholarships for Clinton Central High School graduates who are accepted into a program leading to a bachelor's degree in business at a public or private university within the state of Indiana who are likely to succeed as post-secondary college or university students. Uh, I, know, I knew Mr. and Mrs. Dowden personally. Uh, they were very thrifty in their lifestyle. Unfortunately, they did not have children but they have awarded through the Community Foundation a scholarship of this amount uh, perpetually to each of the four county schools. So I think it's wonderful. This year's recipient is Kale Lucas. The Michigan Town High School Alumni Scholarship is awarded to students in Michigan Town or Warren Townships in Clinton County attending college or a vocational school. This year's recipient chosen is Caleb Price. <laughs> the Clinton Central High School Vision Scholarship provides scholarships to students graduating from Clinton Central High School who will be attending any college, university, junior college, seminary, or trade school. This was the vision of Mrs. Margaret Sheets, a former student here at Clinton Central who graduated in 1969 with my wife, who taught here for a number of years, both in the home ec department and science department, and was the guidance director until she retired. So thank you, Mrs. Sheets. We have winners, Kyler, Kale Lucas, and Haley Thompson this year. Clinton County Community Foundation Scholarship is on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Clinton County Community Foundation and Howard County Foundations. Uh, we feel it is important to recognize the finalists in the Lilly Endowment Community Scholarship Program and present scholarship awards to them from the Community Foundation. I also serve on the Howard County uh, Foundation uh, representing Clinton County. The criteria used in selecting the finalists and the recipient of the scholarships are academic performance, school activities, outside of school activities, financial need, potential for success, essay, and a personal interview. At this time, I am pleased to present the Community Foundation Scholarship in the amount of $1,000 to Brendan Smith. The William and Doris Moore Scholarship are made possible through the generosity of the late William and Doris Moore. This fund was established in the Clinton County Community Foundation through a charitable remainder unit trust 
and unlike many of the foundation scholarship funds, this is a four-year renewable scholarship. This year's recipients, plural, are Catherine Faulkner and Jacob Habegger. passed away on May 6th. He had a passion for any type, type of agriculture, whether it be farming or raising his Duroc pigs. Before his passing, he already had picked out his show pigs, so I raised them the rest of the summer, and after showing them at fair, we auctioned off one of his pigs, and the money from this, and then money don donated from individual 4-H members, market checks, and from the Caldwell family, went towards funding a scholarship in his honor. It honors a student in 4-H of good character, good citizenship, and good scholastics. The first recipient of the Zachary Lynn Caldwell Memorial Scholarship is Corey Neiman. Jan Archibald, and um, first we'd like to say congratulations to all the members of the graduating class of 2018, and wish you best and uh, best wishes in your future endeavors. Uh, this is um, we're here to, pre uh, to present the scholarship award for the AJ Archibald Memorial Scholarship. Um, this fund was established in 1998 in memory of our son, who was a student here at Clinton Central. Um, and it recognizes good citizenship, above average character, demonstration of academic ability, while participating in extracurricular activities, sports or any other type of uh, extracurricular activity, and a demonstration of uh, making the effort to reach one's potential. Uh, we, I wanna say also that we are um, very humbled by all the continuing donations that, that go into the fund, it has uh, more than quadrupled since it began. And um, it, it's, this year it's, a, it's um, supporting a $1,250 scholarship. And the scholarship this year uh, goes to Corey Neiman. Good evening, my name is Linda Barnett, and my brother Mark Rule and I are here to present the Wilbur T. Rule Team Player Scholarship, he was our father. Very few, if any, of these seniors back here would remember our father, but many of your parents, your grandparents, and even your great-grandparents would remember him. He was an athlete and coach at Michigan Town, an athletic director here at Clinton Central for 27 years, and an avid Bulldog fan until his death. 15 years ago, we started this scholarship, and we knew that we wanted the recipient to display the team player mentality. That mentality was extremely important to our father. He believed the name on the front of the shirt was a lot more important than the one on the back. From nominations from the head coaches, the committee has selected two individuals to receive each a $600 scholarship payable the second semester of their freshman year. It gives us 
great pride our entire family to present these two scholarships to Corey Neiman and Brendan Smith. Congratulate the parents too. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Margie Weirich, and I'm presenting the J. Allen Weirich Memorial Scholarship to Purdue. This scholarship is given to a student who will be enrolled in the School of Agriculture, Engineering, or Technology. This year we had outstanding applicants apply. This class is small in number, as you can see. Well, as most of us know, but they have outstanding students. I was fortunate enough to check the immunization records of almost all these kids. Some of them are move-ins. But I've seen these kids, and I've watched them grow for the last 13 years. We had excellent applicants and how are we going to choose between these two applicants so this year we are dividing the scholarship and the awards go to mitchell farrell and jacob hoffinger Barb taught here at 44 years, English and Spanish, had many of you and your parents and grandparents, as Linda said, great grandparents in some cases. The uh, friends and former students wanted to do something for Barb, so we set up a scholarship fund in her honor for a student who had uh, two years of foreign language, preferably Spanish, and was going to Purdue. Thanks to all of you and people who are continuing to give scholarships, to give contributions to this every year, we're able to increase the uh, scholarship this year to $1,000 for this year, and they'll have the opportunity, the winner will have the opportunity then for an additional $1,000 in the second year. So it gives a great pleasure to present the scholarship to Mitchell Farrell. Mr. Carr and uh, one of the two ag teachers at uh, Central, and uh, I'd like to call up the following members that are going to stand up here. Mitchell Farrell, Kale Lucas, Katie Faulkner, Corey Neiman, Jake Hobbegger, and Kale Price. Mr. Stanley is going to hand out the cords and to uh, Earn a cord, they have to have earned their Hoosier degree, which is uh, only 2% of the membership received that. So, uh, outstanding achievement. And let's give these young people a good round of applause for getting a cord. And then we started about seven, eight years ago to cash for corduroy. And uh, I'm guessing we've awarded our chapter about sixty to $70,000 to seniors to pursue and help financially. Uh, and uh, we have uh, several fives for these students going to get cash for corduroy. Um, one is I, I'd like to say this has been a really, really good class. You've seen a lot of these kids up a lot of times uh, this evening, and that, that says well for not only the school, but our program and stuff like that. Um, it's easy to start something. You know, it's easy to start something. It's much tougher to finish something, and they're finishers, and I applaud that for our ag program. Um, I will remind you, I don't know if you remember or not, in freshman class, I had you sign a piece of paper. I don't know if you remember that or not, but uh, you don't remember that, Katie? Yeah. Yeah. It was a uh, job and start getting income. 10% of your income goes to my retirement. You don't remember that? No. 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 Okay. I, I swore I did that, but uh, basically, uh, we're going to give out scholarships, and uh, we're very proud. And this has been a really good class. and. Uh, um, 
The first one is for five hundred dollars to Kale Lucas. The next one is for five hundred dollars, Katie Fox. And then Corey Neiman, five hundred dollars. And then two of the students um, really uh, have done really well competitively and as being officers and uh, just been really good role models. And uh, for $1,000, Jacob Hobbaker. And the last one for 1000 is Caleb Price. and blankets. Every year a senior athlete, senior student, um, student athlete is awarded a plaque uh, for those that have accumulated seven or more athletic points. An athletic point is earned a uh, half point for participation and a full point if they have earned their varsity letter for that respective sport. Uh, in addition to those seven or more athletic points during their high school career, they have, have also needed to have participated in at least two sports during their senior year. Uh, and we had nine individuals that will have earned their athletic plaques uh, for their senior year. Um, and I will, as I call it, uh, if you would all just stand up here in front of the, uh, in front of the table and then we'll, then I'll present your plaques to you. Tristan Hoffman, Kayla Lucas, Trenton McQuinn, Brendan Smith, Aiden Barrett, Edward Kelly, Kylie Carr, Brianna Davis, and Corey Neiman.
In addition to those that had earned their athletic senior plaque, there were two individuals that uh, have earned an awards blanket, and that's any senior athlete who's accumulated nine or more athletic points uh, during their high school career and participated in three sports during their senior year. And so with the following individuals, uh, please uh, come up here to the front of the stage to be awarded your awards blanket. Kylie Carr and Brendan Smith. Congratulations to all our senior student athletes and their accomplishments and achievements. We did have one individual that had earned an academic all-state honor this year for swimming and diving, and that was Mitchell Farrell. Last two awards from the athletic department for this year. Wilbur T. Rule Athlete of the Year, Athletes of the Year, is awarded to an outstanding male and female senior athlete. This award is given in honor of Mr. Rule, who was a dedicated administrator, teacher, and coach for over 43 years within the Clinton Central community. And it was Mr. Rule's belief, just as Linda had mentioned earlier, athletes should be good citizens, great citizens, we hope, as well as model citizens to not just in the community, but also into the school, uh, to the, the younger uh, student athletes. And this year's recipient, recipients for the World Beer Team Rule, the Female Athlete of the Year, Kylie Carr. Athlete of the Year is Brendan Smith. And the last award from the athletic department that we will present this year is the A.J. Archibald Memorial Award. This award, in addition to the Wilbur, Wilbur T. Rule Award, were voted on by our head coaches in the athletic department and the 10 individuals that did vote for this, uh, for the Wilbur T. Rule, as well as the A.J. Archibald Memorial Award uh, had chosen Kylie and Brendan for the Athletes of the Year and for the, the Archibald Memorial Award is named for a special young man or woman who had a great heart along with determination, offered a true testimonial to what athletics are about in high school. And this award is presented to a senior athlete who has displayed great citizenship skills, persistence, determination, and a positive mental attitude. And we had three individuals come down to uh, the last uh, couple coaches that had gotten in votes to me, it was very, very close. All three were very well deserving. Uh, the two individuals that are up here in front of me, but also our award recipient this year is Corey Neiman. Good evening, my name is Chelsea Randall, I'm the school counselor here. I'll be giving out a few awards today. The first one is the American Red Cross Scholarship. It's a scholarship worth $500. It was available to students that were active um, participants in the high school blood drive. The student must exhibit a leadership role within the program and within their cohort of students. The scholarship, this year's scholarship will be awarded to Brendan Smith. youth mentoring organization that provides kids with hope to reach their God-given potential. Lana Davis, who is the Coach Kids Local Heroes Program Manager, cannot be here this evening to present their scholarship. 
She expressed that it has been an honor this, year, this school year to work with the excellent student mentors here at Clinton Central. A special thanks go to seniors Katie Faulkner and Corey Neiman, who have offered hope to the younger students through their local Heroes program. students to volunteer and spread their light. Through the support of the community partners, Encompass Credit Union, Paris Farms, the Farmers Bank, Paris Gang War, Insurance of Michigan Town, Coach Kids would like to honor Corey Neiman with a scholarship to help him as he moves forward in his education. His mentor wrote this note. Corey has always been a good guy and a good mentor. The reason he deserves the Coach Kid Scholarship is because he was always there at the perfect time. So when I was frustrated during class, he was there to be a good mentor. He was there in swimming when I was at pra when I was practicing with varsity, and he helped me develop my strokes a little bit. A little bit, even though it was outside school, he was still a good mentor. Corey has inspired me to be a mentor when I become a freshman, so I can inspire kids just like he inspired me. Corey never got frustrated with me when I told him about my day, like anyone else does. The reason why I include this is because some people have gotten frustrated with me when I tell them about my long days. But Corey never did. He was there to listen, just like I listen to my loved ones and friends. He really does deserve that scholarship more than any other mentor that, has, that happens to be leading the home of the Bulldogs this year. I'm happy to say that I am the most inspired preteen and I'm inspired by my mentor. And this would be my only way to fully say thank you to Corey and his services to Clinton Central's mentor, Coach Kids Program. The 21st Century Scholars Program was started by the state of Indiana to offer financial aid to students who apply and are approved for enrollment in their middle school years. Students pledged to graduate with a minimum of a Core 40 diploma, complete scholar success program requirements, as well as earn a cumulative high school GPA of at least a 2.5 on a four-point scale. This scholarship can provide students up to four years of undergraduate tuition at any participating public college or university in Indiana. When I say your name, I'd like you to stand so we can recognize you. Mariah Eaton, Joel Craig, Haley Thompson, Brendan Smith, and Tristan Hoffman. The Kraft Weber Music Scholarship Fund will be dispersing $500 to a student from Clinton Central High School desiring to pursue a degree in music at any college or university of his or her choice. This year, the Kraft Weber Music Scholarship will be awarded to Katie Faulkner. The Harold, Harold Harmison Scholarship, worth $800, is available this year to students attending Purdue University in West Lafayette. The Abraham and Viola McClamark Endowment provides $580 worth of funds to students planning to attend Purdue in West in the West Lafayette location as well. This year, the recipients of these awards will, will earn a combined amount of $1,380. The recipients of these awards go to Jacob Hostetter, <laughs> Jacob Hobegger, Ava French, <laughs> Kale Lucas, <laughs> and Mitchell Farrell.
we've got a few uh, scholarships that are that come from directly from the universities. Uh, unfortunately, they all don't provide uh, certificates to be able to hand to the students tonight. Uh, one university did, and I'll get those passed out to them. So I'll let you know whether you need to stand or come forward. All right. So the first one is the Vincennes University Foundation Academic Honors, and these, it, this one would go to Hannah Jacoby. Vincennes also offered a presidential scholarship to Brendan Smith. And then the rest of these, if you just stand when I call your name, uh, that would be good. The Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne Excellence Scholarship, amount $4,000 to Catherine Faulkner. The Indiana Purdue Fort Wayne Music Scholarship, amount of $2,000 to Catherine Faulkner. The Purdue University Presidential Scholarship, $4,000, Ava French. The Eli Lilly Endowment Scholarship finalist, uh, an amount of $1,000 is Brendan Smith. Brendan, you just stay standing here. The uh, Wabash Company Scholarship, a pres uh, the Presidential Scholarship for Indiana Westland, Manchester, Vincennes, and Marion University and Wabash College Scholarships, all were awarded to Brendan Smith. If you add up the total amount of scholarships that were passed out tonight, it's uh, right around $89,500. Several of these are renewable for the next four years, and if the math works out correctly, by the end of the term, it'd be right around $220,000 worth of scholarship money has been awarded to these students tonight. So let's give them a round of applause. We do have a handful of seniors here that uh, have been in National Honor Society. Uh, during graduation, they get to wear a nice stole around their, their, their gown to signify their, their membership in National Honor Society. It also signifies hard work, dedication, all those things that makes them a great scholar here at Clinton Central. So I will call your names and Mrs. Randall will give you your stole. Garrett Ray. Mitchell Farrell. Ava French. Catherine Faulkner. Brendan Smith. And Jacob Habegger. Then the last two uh, awards here are, that we'll recognize our students with uh, also shows uh, that it's a, a cord that they can wear at graduation that again shows their academic prowess uh, here at Clinton Central and also will signify which um, honors, which diploma they are receiving from the state of Indiana. Uh, we have what is called in the state of Indiana an academic honors diploma and a technical honors diploma. And to receive those diplomas, you have to go a little above and beyond uh, the general diploma that is called. Usually the students that are on these two diploma tracks are definitely college bound uh, students and we like to find or we like to recognize them by allowing them to wear the cord uh, around their cap and gown at graduation. So we'll start with the academic honors. Mitchell Farrell. <laughs> Ava French. Garrett Ray. Katie Faulkner.
Jacob Habegger. <laughs> Brendan Smith. <laughs> Kaylin Faber. <laughs> Caleb Price. <laughs> Kyler Gick. Kale Lucas. Corey Neiman. Alexis Lashbrook. Gabby Rothwell. Haley Thompson. Hannah Jacoby. We had trouble with you last time. <laughs> Finding your way from the back row. Thomas Barham. <laughs> Jacob Hostetter. Kylie Bollinger. Gage Eli. And Eli Archibald. You know, like I said, the, the other uh, honors diploma that the state awards is called the Technical Honors Diploma. It takes just a little bit different path in, in the classes that uh, some of the students can take. It is possible for the students to receive both an academic honors diploma and a technical honors diploma. And we have a handful of students that have done that. So the folks wearing the silver cords at graduation, Kale Lucas. <laughs> Jacob Habegger. <laughs> Katie Faulkner. Caleb Price, and Justin Pelling, but I believe Justin Sears. That concludes our awards program. We do thank you so much for coming out and celebrating with these students. Before you leave, give them one more big round of applause. Thank you and have a great evening.